Come on, church. You ought to let your worship just flow to the most high. It ought to be like a river right about now that's flowing from the throne of grace through you in this temple. That should be just an awesome praise just on your lips as you worship the most high God. He deserves your praise. He deserves to flow through you. He desires to flow through you. He wants you to be able to open up so he can flow through you. He wants you to be able to open up your mouth. That's the avenue from your heart. That what's in your heart will come out of your mouth and worship to be coming up out of you. And you ought to just want to just exalt the most high name because his name is Jesus. Jesus. We always talk about this is the reason for the season while you're in the season. And his name is Jesus who you ought to be lifting Jesus. up and worship for him to be coming up out of you. It should be like a river that's flowing with love. It should be like a river that's flowing out of you with awesome praise and worship to the Most High God because he desires your praise. Won't you just open up just for one moment? I know we don't have a lot of time, but we just want to open up because we come in to worship the Most High God. We just want to just, want to just worship like a river. It's a river. If the word of God is in you, worship ought to be in you. If you accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior, worship should be inside of you. And it's built up in you and it wants to come out, so let it out. If you don't want to do anything, but just shout. Just shout. Just wave your hands in. Just tell him thank you. That's worship. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for healing me. Thank you for delivering me. I thank you, Jesus. Come on, say it with me. I thank you, Jesus. Come on, you be the praise team. Thank you for healing me. Let me hear you. Thank you for healing me. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Now take a few seconds and just think about what you want to thank Jesus for this morning. Come on, if he's brought you from a mighty long way, come on, think about what you want to thank him for. Come on, the more you think, the more you thank him. Come on, saying, hey, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you. Jesus, you've been good. I come to thank you, Jesus. You've been good. Yeah. I come to thank you, Jesus. Brought me from a mighty long way. 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 You kept my mind at peace. Come on, Zion. You kept my mind at peace. When the enemy came in like a flood, you lifted up a standing head. I thank you, Jesus. Because you've been so good. Come on, say it. And you've been so kind. And you've been so faithful. Hey, you've been faithful. Hey, you've been faithful. Hey, you made a way for me. On the doors I could not see. Hey, hey. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. 
Lord, thank you, Jesus. Minister, thank Jesus. Come on, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I couldn't see my way. But you showed me a brighter day. I couldn't find my way through. But you healed me. Hey, he walks with me. He talks with me. He leads me and he guides me. He protects me. He protects me. He protects me. He protects me. I thank you, Jesus. 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 And I thank you, Lord. And I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And I thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Come on, just smack the devil upside his head. Come on, he's been messing with you this week. Let's just say thank you, Jesus. 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 You sound like you got the victory. Man. Somebody say, I got the victory, and this new Jesus, thanks be to God, who gives us the victory, and causes us to triumph, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus. Jesus. 
We thank you, Father, for all that he does for us. God, we just want to thank you for grace and we want to thank you for mercy. We want to thank you for your spirit. We want to thank you for your anointing. We want to thank you, God, for all that you do because of who you are in us and through us. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we just want to let you know that we're not too mean to say thank you. Because you've been too good. You've been mighty, mighty good to us. And Lord, we just say thank you. Lord, if you never do anything else for us, you've already done enough. And we thank you for what you've already done. So we just give you praise and we give you glory while we have a chance. Because worship is what's inside of us. So we worship you because of who you are. Because you are the true and living God. And besides thee, there is none other. So we worship the name Jesus. We lift up the name Jesus. We magnify the name Jesus. We give all praise unto the name of Jesus. Because he's worthy of our praise. Now God, we ask that you just bless the people of God as they prepare to give into your kingdom. We thank you, God, for seed to sow. We thank you, God, for jobs that you've given us. We thank you, God, for finances that you've blessed us with. We thank you for an abundance harvest that you've given us, God. Now, God, allow us to be able to sow back into your kingdom as you have blessed these, your people. So, Father, we just ask that you have blessed them some 30, some 60, 100-fold, God. And God, the blessings of God shall overtake them because of their obedience in the area of their giving. So we praise you and we exalt you in advance because of what you've done in our lives. But it's this prayer that we pray and we ask in the awesome and the precious name of Jesus, the Christ, the Son of the living God, that we give all thanks and we give all praise. Amen and amen. Our scripture reading this morning will come from 2 Corinthians, the ninth chapter. And we'll start at the fifth verse. It says, Therefore I thought it necessary to exalt the brethren to go to you ahead of time and prepare your generous gifts beforehand, which you have previously promised, that it may be ready as a matter of generosity and not as of grudgingly of obligation. But this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let everyone give as he purpose in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity. For God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that you always having all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. As it is written, he has dispensed abroad, he has given to the poor, his righteousness endureth forever. Now may he who supplieth seed to the sower and bread for food and supplied multiplied the seed you have sown and increased the fruits of your righteousness. While you are enriched in everything for all liberty, which causes thanksgiving through us to God. I read to you uh, 2 Corinthians, the ninth chapter, reading from verses 5 through 11. May God add a blessing to the reading and the hearers of his divine word. So everyone all over the temple, if you would just stand to your feet, it's time to give. It's giving time. And we should be excited about giving to God because he's given us life and he's given us life in abundance. So then we'll obey the instruction of the ushers at this time. No one else can receive the glory. No one else can receive the praise. I said no one else can receive the glory. No one else can receive the praise. No one else can receive the praise. Because he's holy, holy and righteous, and righteous omnipotent, omnipotent, and mighty. mighty and he's our Father, so many God, my Redeemer, my Savior, my Savior. No one else can receive the glory. No one else can receive the glory. No one else can receive the praise. No one else can receive the praise. No one else can receive the glory. No one else can receive the glory. No one else can receive the praise. No one else can receive the praise. 
received the praise. God has been received the praise. I said, no one else can receive the glory. No one else can receive the glory. No one else can receive the praise. No one else can receive the praise. Because he's holy and righteous. Give the Lord a hand. Amen. What a great God we serve. Amen. God bless you all on today. Today the Acts of Zion will be presenting uh, its play. It's all about Jesus. Now, first we praise God for everyone that's participating in the play. Thank you, Sister Brown, for uh, letting the Lord use you in writing this play. And it's an exciting time on the day. And don't think you're going to miss God's word today because I am going to preach today. Amen. Hallelujah. After all that happened this week, you need a word. Amen. We need a word. After everything that happened this week, we need a word. Hallelujah. So in today's play, it's all about Jesus. There are several scenes. Uh, we have a couple of groups that's going to participate, but also today is the debut of the Daughters of Zion Ministry also. Amen. So we're excited about what God is going to do at, with them and through them. Amen. God bless you all on today.
get upset. You speak to everybody but them. I want to include everybody. Come on. No hurt feelings. No church hurt today. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Y'all, it's the holiday season. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Well, it is the holiday season. I know. People are wrapping their gifts. You know, I